Agent Kruller? I hope I didn't lose him in the woods. Wow. It's really all still here. The Great Needle Gulch. So much history here. I mean, this is where you assembled the team that would become the Psychonauts. This is where you first discovered Cytanium. Where Otto made his first psychoactive devices. Where Cassiopeia wrote her books. Where Helmet Fulbear workshopped his psychodicy. Where Bob Zanotto and Compton Bull pioneered communication with plants and animals. And where... where... This is where it all began. No, Raz. This is where it all ended. Do you know where you are? What can you tell me about this place? I... Oh, I think... I think I used to keep the cinnamon over there. Oh, we don't have much time. Her old memories are coming back. What's going to happen? Listen, Raz. This compound... We got into some pretty far-out stuff here. I've read about... The kind of stuff they don't write about in true psychic tales, okay? We all pushed each other to go farther, to broaden our consciousness, to open every closed door in our minds. It made us defenseless, psychically. But we were in a safe place here. We had each other. Then her homeland was attacked. She insisted on helping. I begged her not to go in that condition. It's so vulnerable. Ah, war brought something out in her that... Should have been locked away. Maligula. After the deluge, I brought her back here and closed those doors again with Maligula on the other side. How? With the astrolathe. A powerful tool we developed to make alterations to our psyches. That doesn't sound safe. Now you wouldn't understand. It was an age of exploration. But you're right. We were messing with powers we didn't understand. And now I have to clean up this mess. But I'm not the psychonaut I used to be, Rasputin. I need your help. What do you need me to do? First, I need you to go to the Heptodome and prepare the astrolathe. Well, I stay here and keep a close watch on her. Be right back, Nona. Away from the river, booty! Aha! I knew I had some chewing tobacco hidden in here. I hate to interrupt, but... Is the astrolathe ready, Rasputin? So this water curse on my family... The more Lucy comes in contact with water, the more likely she is to remember bad things. So I used the astrolathe to give her an unnatural fear of water. She passed it on to your father, and he passed it on to you. So, there is no curse? Rasputin, there's no such thing as magical curses. Please, this is science. Why didn't you just turn Lucretia into the authorities? I knew that the real Lucretia was a good person. 
and would be fine if we could control the Maligula complex inside her, but I knew no one would ever believe that. They'd lock her up, which would just make Maligula more angry and more dangerous. Does my dad know? Your dad thinks this is his mother. He has no idea. It's his aunt. No idea that his mother has been dead for 20 years. But he might remember the truth while we are performing the procedure, as Lucy remembers who she is. How are you going to use the astrolathe? Years ago, I used it to seal the spirit of Maligula away. But she is still in there. With your help, I'm hoping we can bring it out and destroy it forever. What you did to my family was wrong, Ford. You're right, Rasputin. I was young, and I panicked. But that's no excuse. I just hope we can use the astrolathe to set things right for you and your family. No. Uh, where is it again? That way, in the Heptadome! I'd better get that astrolathe working. That's my boy. That's my boy! Hmm. Sensing some stray thoughts around. This is where the first Psychonauts met. And this must be the Astral Lane. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. Well, those are thick and thorny. I'm gonna need a little help here. This is where they sat! Welcome back. Good to Don't be a stranger. this card lying around.
seems harmless to me. But that's probably how it gets you. Almost had it, but I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Almost had it, but I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Round some thoughts. Thanks, Thought Tuner.
my regulars. We appreciate your business. Ta-ta! Psycho isolation chamber doing out here. Warning shot. Hmm. I think I got the order wrong. ever psycho isolation chamber created as therapy later used to punish kids at summer camps Exotic animals. This must be what Compton kept his menagerie. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. this card lying around.
This used to be Otto's workshop. Looks like it went out with a bang. Isn't my favorite customer. I don't think I need any more gadgets right now. Good, because I would never trust one to someone so young. card lying around. Is that straight thoughts I'm picking up? Oh, great. Is that the real Fieldmobile? Wow! This must be Helmet's Theater. Must be cold. Thank <laughs> you. 
Strong bees, smoke get in your eyes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, bees, smoke this. <laughs> Victory over bees. <laughs> What's wrong, you big bees? Can't take the heat. sticks conveniently to your face while you're talking. You're just something someone put into my mind. Which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but don't you know these bees are so demanding? Ford wants me to turn on the astrolathe, but it's covered in, well, Really angry bees. Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. 
Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait, Cassie! Who's she? There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Automatic. Whenever you need more gear, the automatic will be here. Interrupt, but is the astrolathe ready, Rasputin? It's covered in bees. Isn't Cassia Compton around here somewhere? Uh, they were always good with that sort of thing. Total bug nerds. It's strangled by thorny vines. Hmm. Bob Zanotto was our vegetation expert. He liked plants more than people. I'd better get that astrolathe working. That's my boy. That's my boy.
Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. It took you so long. Thanks, Cassie. I'll let you get back to your bees. Yes, they get upset when I make too much noise. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. What's up with these strange bee things? I've lost control of the bees. They're keeping me like a prisoner here. I'm going to help get you out of here, Cassie. Shh. Thanks. What are you doing out here by yourself? Why don't you work out of the mother load with the rest of the Psychonauts? Oh, I never could adapt to the whole new Psychonauts thing. I like to stay out here and remember the old days. Also, I want to take care of it as best I can. In case Ford and the others ever come back. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. <laughs> <laughs> 